After being virtual last season due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Emporia State Athletics was able to get back in person to host the 2021 Corky Awards on Monday night. After awarding titles for each team from best dress to best teammate, we then move on to the Doc Baxter Award of Excellence, recognizing a senior athletic training student that exudes the qualities of longtime Emporia State trainer, John Doc Baxter. This year's winner was senior Keisha Garcia. It feels very good because I know I build relationships with everyone every day and to see that it pays off every day, it's a lot. The Comeback Kid Award was given to women's soccer junior Ashlyn Lakin, who was the second team all MIAA pick after being sidelined for two years due to injury and the COVID-19 season cancellation. Coming back uh, the my spring of junior year was just amazing because I haven't played in two years, so it just felt awesome. Joe Cannon was one of the most prominent supporters of Hornet Athletics over the years. The Joe Cannon Service Award honors his memory by recognizing someone that goes above and beyond to better the athletic department. This year's recipient was Dr. Scott Waters. Be recognized for um, the privilege of being part of it was uh, pretty special for me. Female undergraduate award of excellence winner was women's soccer player Mackenzie DeMarco. DeMarco scored 11 goals in 10 matches to lead the Hornets in scoring as Emporia State went 9 and 1 during the spring season. She has a 3.73 GPA in rehabilitation. Really a big honor for me. Like, I mean, nothing's possible without the team I have behind my back. On the men's side, sophomore tennis player Harrison Brown has established himself as one of the top players for the Emporia State men's tennis program. Also a business administration major, he holds a 3.87 GPA. To be recognized with between every sport as undergraduate, yeah, it means, it means everything. Tanner Robinstein of ESU Men's Track and Field took home the Hornet Legacy Award given to a senior that has left a lasting impression on Emporia State Athletics. Robinstein began his career as a walk-on, now becoming an All-American at this year's National Indoor Championships. Oh, I mean, it felt great. Honestly, an honor, so I mean, being surrounded by a bunch of great dudes uh, day in and day out, it's really an honor. Finally, the Outstanding Student Athlete of the Year Award. For the women, it was Lady Hornet basketball player Treasure Joe. Joe became the first Lady Hornet to earn All-American honors as a sophomore in 15 years as she led Emporia State back to the NCAA tournament for the 22nd time in school history. She was the MIAA Player of the Year, a first-team All-MIAA and MIAA All-Defensive Team selection as she averaged an MIAA Best 19.6 points and 3.0 steals per game. She led the nation in minutes played and ranks third in total steals. It means a lot. I mean, there's a lot of great athletes here, especially the women's soccer team. So, I mean, I mean, it just means a lot. And I definitely couldn't have done this without my teammates and my coaches' help. On the men's side, baseball senior Cooper Minnick was your winner. Minnick has been a consistent force for the Hornet baseball program, both at and behind the plate this year. The MIAA Gold Glove winner at catcher in 2019, this year Minnick has thrown out an MIAA best 17 of 39 base stealers. At the plate, he is ranked in the top 10 in the MIAA in on-base percentage, run scored, and stolen bases, and hit by pitch. The Leon, Kansas native is batting 364 this season. It means a lot, and it's crazy because seeing all these athletes out here and like just let alone on the baseball team how many good athletes there are and get to football and basketball and all those guys and the girls soccer and track and stuff is crazy to just be a part of it with treasure and stuff is pretty cool. Congratulations to all the seniors for your fantastic careers and overcoming one of the most difficult years in college athletics.